In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Hear in kindness, O Lord, the prayers of your people, that those who rejoice at the coming of your only begotten Son in our flesh may, when at last he comes in glory, gain the reward of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Song of Songs I hear my beloved, see how he comes, leaping on the mountains, bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle, like a young stag. See where he stands behind our wall. He looks in at the window, he peers through the lattice. My beloved lifts up his voice, he says to me, Come then, my love, my lovely one, come. For see, winter is past, the rains are over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, the season of glad songs has come, the cooing of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree is forming its first figs, and the blossoming vines give out their fragrance. Come then, my love, my lovely one, come. My dove, hiding in the clefts of the rock, in the coverts of the cliff, show me your face, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet, and your face is beautiful. The Word of the Lord Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just. O sing him a song that is new. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp. With a ten-stringed lute, sing him songs. O sing him a song that is new. Play loudly with all your skill. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just. O sing him a song that is new. His own designs shall stand for ever, the plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy, whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, O sing him a song that is new. Our soul is waiting for the Lord, the Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just. O sing him a song that is new. Alleluia, alleluia. Key of David, who opened the gates of the eternal kingdom. Come to liberate from prison the captive who lives in darkness. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and went as quickly as she could to a town in the hill country of Judah. She went into Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. Now, as soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She gave a loud cry and said, Of all women, you are the most blessed, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why should I be honored with a visit from the mother of my Lord? For the moment your greeting reached my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy. Yes, blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, we are going to celebrate Christmas in a couple of days, and I'm sure many of us are preparing for our Christmas celebration. We decorate our homes with a Christmas tree. We bake cookies and we buy things for the kitchen. We are trying to set it up before Christmas. Also, we might think to invite our family and friends. We are ready to welcome visitors. However, given the current situation, we might consider inviting a limited number of guests. And perhaps the idea is to relax and enjoy our time with someone dear to us. So in today's Gospel reading, Mary paid a visit to Elizabeth, her cousin. Elizabeth welcomed Mary with a heartfelt gratitude and joy. And Mary brought a greater gift to Elizabeth, who is in her womb, Jesus the Christ. And Mary is considered the Theotokos, the God-bearer. All Elizabeth has to do is enjoy the moment and enjoy the company. The scene of the visitation in the reading today called us to meditate on the cry of the Song of Songs in the first reading. Come then, my love, come, my lovely one, come. A call to welcome and be in union with someone we love. We don't have to go anywhere. All we have to do is be home, receive the guests, and enjoy the moment and the company. In a way, we appreciate the presence of divine love in the flesh, the divine love who made heaven and earth, comes to the world to us, to our house, to dwell in our flesh and blood, and to love us from the inside out. In the season of waiting, we await with a hopeful heart the word, Come, my love, my lovely one, come, is also an expression of expectation with a heart full of hope for a special guest, a special visitor, someone who will be our bearer of God. And so, my friends, let us call to our minds those who walk with us and lead us to Christ in the silence of our doings and words as we pray with and for them. And the scriptures invite us to await with hope and wholeheartedly. Like Elizabeth, all we have to do is enjoy the moment and enjoy the company. And so, let us humbly raise our petition and prayers to God, Abba Father, in the word Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord, may participation in this divine mystery provide enduring protection for your people, so that, being subject to your glorious majesty in dedicated service, they may know abundant health in mind and body. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
and so, my dear friends, I wish you a blessed and fruitful Advent, everyone. And may God bless and keep you always. Take care.